me show you. Let me show you how. Let me show you how rich I am. I just have hundreds laying around. I was kidding. <laughs> anyway, no, but listen. <clears throat> let me let me explain to you why it's not team toxic. Back up a little bit. Up. Let me explain to you why it's not team toxic. It's not team toxic because um, toxic doesn't respect me at all. Um, she likes cucks. I learned to believe that she likes to feel like she's the dominant one in a relationship. She does not like to be controlled in relationships. She likes to feel like she's the prettiest, the baddest shit in the whole entire world. There's nothing wrong with that. But she doesn't know how to turn it off. She, like me, I know how to flick it off. I like to think I'm the baddest shit in the world too. But the thing is, Toxic, you need to at least back it up, gal. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Toxic is a great woman, don't get me wrong now, but... Ooh, I almost just crashed on that little bitch ass car now. Don't get me wrong, Toxic is a great girl. Great, great girl. Um. I should have merged into that fucking fast lane. I honestly looked at Toxic like she was my soulmate. She really proved me wrong, huh? She really did. She tried it. She not only, she not only got with, and I'm about to come to West Palm Beach, they're gonna come and set me up. <laughs> She's gonna be like, I'm, I'm a shit mom. I'm not talking shit, Toxic. Don't set me up, I don't wanna fucking die. <laughs> No, I got guns like the Navy still, baby. But listen, look, Toxic is just not only got with my ex friend that is known as the most pussiest kid in West Palm Beach. Like, I, let me tell you, let me tell you about this kid. This kid literally ran. Okay, and I was me and my brother. We were known for going. We were known as the Venegas twins. Just being honest, I, I, I should be knocking on wood. I do not want to get arrested in West Palm Beach. Holy fuck. I'm traumatized from West Palm. Okay, let's move from this bitch ass car. Oh, I want to speed so I get pulled over. No, but listen, no, realistically, bro, is this car gonna let me like. Oh my god, I hate trucks on the road. Sorry about that. Let me make my exhaust a little bit sound a little bit lower. The exhaust is a little bit too loud. I know, I know you guys want to see me whip it up. I'm still whipping, don't get me wrong, but the exhaust, I, I put it lower. You don't want to hear that V8 uh, bi turbo just brown, brown all the time, you know what I'm saying? No, but listen, this kid was running from a ki another kid, and I know this because I went to jail the next week. He was running from another kid inside the detention center. Now, there's a difference. When you run from someone in real life, okay, sure. You can run from someone from real life. There's, okay, I've seen that happen. I have never seen somebody run around a whole day room, we use, call it a day room, or a whole main pod, a pod, whatever you want to call it, a juvenile pod where you're running in circles while a kid is trying to chase and hit you. Until you let, so you can let the correction officer break you guys up so you don't, the kid can't even hit you. One thing about me and one thing you cannot take is I've always had heart. Another thing, the second thing is not only that Fly has heart, Fly would actually fight. That's one thing about me. I'll, I will go in there and fight. Even if I think you can whoop my ass. I'm not the toughest man. I am not the biggest, baddest man. I am not the richest man. I'm not the best at everything. No, not at all. But one thing about me is I will go in there and fight. And did I win majority of my fights in jail? Yeah. You want to know why? Because it's mine over matter. It doesn't... I was always the aggressor. I always came in and punched first. I never let someone come in and just sneak me. 